Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Squeeze Take. I just wrote it. 48. <laughs> um, what should I be drinking? So, I've had a couple private messages after this week, after talking about hydration and tips and tricks. Tick. Tips and tricks. <laughs> oh, happy Friday! Tips and tricks to keep, um, keep you hydrated and even to just get your water intake up. So I've talked about the benefits of water. I've talked about uh, pimping your water and I've gotten some good feedback on that. I think everyone has liked that. So a little recap, pimping your water is essentially just putting the good stuff, uh, citrus. <laughs> it's Friday. So citrus, herbs, herbal tea, uh, vegetables like cucumber, it's the only vegetable I can really think of. Um, there, there's possibly more that I use. Um, just put that in your water to actually make your water a little bit more refreshing so it seems more enjoy, so it is more enjoyable to drink. Um, pimping your water really helped me be able to get my water take up, my water intake up. So uptake your intake and pimp your water. Uh, I like making it fun. The whole point of making it fun is that it's interesting and you'll be able to implement it. So it's all about helping you guys, um, helping you implement what, what you want to do to achieve your goals. Water is really, really essential for us. And um, I've had a few other questions of, well, what should I be drinking? Essentially, I'm not going to tell you what to drink and what not to drink. However, if you can crowd out sugary drinks, it's best. And it's best because you don't have the sugar highs and then the sugar lows where it's the energy spikes and the energy lows that we want to try to avoid to keep that consistent energy all day. Uh, water does help us, like I've said every day this week, um, clear our head, get rid of brain fog. Um, I haven't drank my full liter of water this morning. I wonder if that's why I can't find my words or if I'm just out of place because I have been traveling and I really didn't exactly know what I was going to talk about more than five minutes ago. I've been having a very, very lovely conversation with someone about parenting and kids and my mind is completely toward um, actually writing a lovely letter on, I guess, my fears. I guess it's fear that stops you from doing something so um, that's kind of in my head so there might be an open letter about that on my on my page soon um, yeah I'm really really thinking about that might have to change my topic for next week but I'm not sure um, and in saying that watch this space because I do plan to uh, get get real about that and it's just my personal opinion I love it that um, I love it when my friends tell me that they're going to try or um, that they've had that they're going to have kiddos. Uh, this week, part of the reason I am in Makai is to see my little baby. Um, she's almost three. Obviously, she's not mine, but I love my friends. They love me. They share. And um, even though I'm not super, super kid friendly, sorry, completely off topic here. Even though I'm not super, super kid, um, not friendly. Like I love all my, I love family and friends, kids that I know, and it's it's the little kids running around the supermarket that irk me. Um, but yeah, I plan to spend quite a few days with my little Annabelle, days and nights, um, with her soon while I'm down in Mackay. So today I'm coming to you from Mackay. And um, I do have my water bottle here. So this is, um, I've only drank probably two cups of water today. Could be why I'm a little bit foggy, but I, I really think it's the, the, the parenting stuff and the kids stuff because I, I do get in my own head about it. I'm very happy with my, my decisions. Mark and I are completely on the same page, but I do wonder sometimes. So I think that's why I'm in my head. However, what should you be drinking? Less sugary stuff. So less the better if you can crowd it out. I'm not saying don't have it ever. I love sometimes foods. 
sometimes foods are those foods that you could call treat foods, but I don't like that because then it's like a treat's a bad thing almost when a treat should be a good thing. Um, celebrate stuff with treats, but don't necessarily use food that are sometimes food to undo all the good that you've done. So same thing with drinks. I'll call, like it's Friday, you know, a lot of people go out celebrate it's Friday. A lot of people, um, you might be, you know, celebrating a friend's birthday this weekend. Um, there will be some drinks, there'll be dinner out. I'm looking forward to it. I'm not going to get upset with myself if, excuse me, if I make decisions that I don't want to make, but ultimately I'm going out to really enjoy the weekend, so I don't think I'll make um, poor decisions. I'm going to celebrate. I have not seen my friends in a little while, so I'm excited. However, to know a little bit more about what you're drinking, oh, airplane in Makai too. I'm grateful for my chats with all this parenting stuff because I really want to dive into it. See what comes out the other side. It's always something to grow. Um, learn and grow and have chats with people who are open-minded. I love it. So I'm grateful for that today. Back to drinks. <laughs> I know what I should have talked about as my topic today. Um, anyway, water is obviously low calorie, no calorie, and the healthiest option for you. Um, a lot of people will use excuses such as, I don't like the taste of water, I don't ever want to have water, like I don't crave it. I never knew I was craving it until I started drinking it. In the mornings, the thirst. Um, I did wake up today and I had some water and I had a coffee earlier than normal, which is fine. Um, I have the option, there's cut up lemon in the freezer because my friend knows me and loves me. Uh, I did opt to not do that, I might do that after this. So, pimping your water, you know, warm lemon water in the morning, there's always uh, citrus, herbs, cucumber mint, strawberry mint, blueberry, raspberry. Um, make your water refreshing so that you want to drink it and enjoy it. Use a, use a special cup, enjoy your cup. Um, simple pleasures, simple pleasures can help you achieve anything that you want. So. It's simple, it's not easy. You have to make the choice to want it. Other drinks, uh, I talked yesterday about juice. I've had a couple questions about that. So any juice, um, you have to leave the marketing, the label to the side. Um, whatever it says, take it with a pinch of salt, grain of salt, whatever saying that is. You have to read the label to know. So you want to look at the sugar four grams of sugar is a teaspoon of sugar. The daily recommended amount is four to six teaspoons a day. You can find that in a serve of juice. So be very careful. Um, you don't have to know everything about the label. You don't have to read everything. If you are trying to lose weight, you will possibly want to look at the calories just to be mindful. Um, you know, an average snack you want to keep around maybe that 200 calorie mark if you're if you're in the weight loss phase. That's not nice. I might have to go inside. Um, yeah, so juice the best way. If you are drinking a lot of juice and you don't want to go cold turkey, start diluting it with just a little bit water and a little bit more every day. Slowly, you can just chop and change your habits and. You may enjoy just half juice, half water, a glass every now and then. Um, again, sometimes food, if it's a lot more water and like, you know, a tab, a uh, little pour of juice in it just to pimp it a little bit, that's okay. Really? Ah, do they not know I'm trying to talk to you? We'll just move it on inside. I don't think it's going to get that much quieter in here. Lovely house, hey. Um, I'm going to keep this short and sweet now because I'm a little bit nervous about it being so loud. So other drinks, fizzy drinks obviously, soft drinks, pop, soda, whatever you want to call it, Coca-Cola, Sprite, lemonade, all that kind of stuff. Not so, not so great for you. Quite a few chemicals as well. I'm just going to go into 
to my little room where it's going to be a little bit quieter. Hmm? Um, yeah, so soft drinks, sorry, the light in here, um, I don't have the light on, but um, soft drinks are going to be a little bit higher in calories. They're definitely going to be less, less vitamins, minerals, nutrients, so they don't really do anything for you in that sense. Um, juices don't really either, unfortunately. Uh, what else? What else? What else do you drink? <laughs> um, I really stick to water, so I don't, cordial. Um, just start putting a lot less in, if you want. Um, I don't want to tell you what to drink, but it's the ways to get, to change the habits, I guess. Um, and that's just to dilute it more. That's the easiest way, you know, if, even if you pour yourself a glass of Coke, I, I know people who do half Coke, half water. Um, is it great to start with? Probably not. The taste just isn't going to be the same. And you have to know that. You have to be mindful. It's um, changing your taste buds as well as changing your mindset to change the habits. Um, yeah. Alcohol. Woo! So wine and beer is usually less calories. Hard liquor is probably more calories. There are healthier choices, obviously. The um, clear liquors, your vodka gins are apparently lower in calories. I haven't looked that up to make sure that what I'm saying is correct, but it is something that um, it's in my head because I've been told it, but I haven't, I haven't actually looked up that fact. So I can do that for you if you do have questions. Uh, mixed drinks are obviously higher in calories. Um, the nutritional value from alcohol is really nothing. There's no vitamins, there's no minerals, there's lots of chemicals, and um, obviously it affects your sleep, it dehydrates you, it, um, you can tend to eat more because the calories you are giving yourself are essentially, your, your body's actually craving some nutrients from it. So if you're eating something that is a lot less, has a lot less nutrients, um, vitamins, minerals, then what you, you actually are craving, you're going to actually crave kind of more food, if that makes sense. I trust it does. So with that, um, yeah, you, there's a lot you can do if you are drinking, you know, if for Australia right now we're getting into spring, lovely warm weather, if you want a cool drink, obviously light beer is less in calories than um, lagers and stuff. If you're drinking white wine but you want to make it a little bit healthier, don't be afraid to add some soda water and pimp it with some with some good stuff. You know, you can put your blueberries and your lemon or lime or even orange into um, mixed wine, soda water, and then add some citrus to it. It's um, it's not necessarily healthy then by any means, but it's a it's a drink that's probably will have less alcohol. You'll still get some soda water and stuff, so it's just an option to cut back on drinking and or to change it up or to have something a little bit more refreshing. Um, obviously, it's Friday. It's going to be the weekend. A lot of people do so well Monday through Friday, and my message is to try to keep that going through the weekend. Um, lately, my this, this week is completely different because I am traveling. But lately, um, my my goal has been for myself is that my weekdays and my weekends don't really change too much. Obviously, I try not to work on weekends. Um, my morning routine I try and keep consistent, and then my days are different. But um, I try to still wake up around the same time. Weekends I do get a little bit more of a sleep, and today I did, um, which was lovely after all the driving I've done. But um. My nights are pretty much similar. This weekend will be different because I will be going out a little bit more. Um, hopefully I'll be able to sleep in a little bit more to make up for that so that my next week isn't, um, I guess, difficult. When I lose sleep, it gets difficult. But if I do keep my water up, it will be a lot better. I do know that. Um, I will be drinking a lot of water this morning. And have it, making sure I have fresh salad always in the fridge wherever I am to go for snacks. I'll probably get a few roast chickens. 
and then just be really mindful like I'm not going to tell myself no if there's something I want or if people are drinking stuff um, I will indulge in a few drinks for celebrations and um, I don't do it all the time so I'm quite happy with that and I'll just make like you know wiser decisions if I feel if I am drinking and I still feel thirsty I'm happy to have a glass of water I know some people say oh don't give me water if I'm drinking like if I'm drinking I'm doing that to celebrate it's completely your choice but know that the choice is there and know that people, if they see you do it, um, they might say something the first couple times, but that's more of a reflection on them than it is on you. And, um, you know, if you start making this little habit, people will stop saying it. So upfront pain, long-term gain, if you want to make those choices, crowding out the sugary drinks is obviously the best um, way, the best way to have healthier drinks and up your water intake. Uh, you have to do what's right for you though you have to do it your way to figure out what's your way is you know diluting stuff is a fantastic idea um not buying it you have that choice you have the choice to put it in the cart you have the choice to put it on the checkout line you have the choice to pay for it you have the choice to put it in your car bring it in your house put it in the cupboard put it in the fridge all that kind of stuff so there's so many choices there that you know it's a yes 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 and you don't realize all those choices you're making but ultimately if it's in the house and you actually don't want to be drinking it don't put it there ah family a lot of people say oh but my partner or, oh but the kids well make make a plan to say all right it's going to be here but you have this much to last this week how do you want to have it do you want to you know spread it out through the week do you want to do this but i i really don't want to be drinking it that's fine you can have that talk with your family yeah you you might have that talk two or three times before you take action on it but it's the talk that starts it so what you should be drinking is completely up to you however if you want to make some healthier choices I suggest more water pimping your water uh, diluting your sugarier drinks if you are drinking alcohol you know especially on the weekend just be mindful um, really be mindful of how you feel afterwards, um, how much water you have drank, if you can actually get a few more glasses of water in while you're drinking. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. If you want any more information, happy to give it to you. This topic about what you should be drinking, um, I'm trying to form it in... I don't want to tell you what to do because you're you. I don't, I don't know you personally. Um, I know what I've gone through and what I've been through and I want to try to help you. I'll never tell you what to do, but I sure want to give you some helpful tips and tricks. That's what I'm all about. I really think that since I've gone to a healthier lifestyle, I am following my dreams more. I'm more clear in my head. I know what I want. I know who I am and um, I want the same for you. So let me know if there's any topics you do want me to cover. And I'm happy to put that on my, my content planner. And I will be back next week. Have a lovely weekend. Make some awesome choices. And I will see you soon. Bye.